What's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. So as you know, I've been making these videos because there are a lot of things that are that uh, come to my mind regarding exams and regarding some useful tips for you guys. So as soon as I think of a few tips, I make sure to put them up on video. And uh, lately there is there has been a lot of debate about uh, what, uh, actually this started when I posted a video of, uh, of a simple calculated trick. Okay, it was regarding time on my YouTube and a lot of students had this question all of a sudden that sir is this calculator allowed in the exam so i, I don't know why, how this all of a sudden has become an issue it has uh, it hasn't been uh, the last couple of years but so so i thought i'd i'd settle that and uh, it is allowed it's officially allowed but just for you guys i decided to send an email to cambridge so that i could get it in written once and for all i'll attach a screenshot of the reply i'll read it out also uh, so that uh, you know we can settle this once and for all and so that th there's there's absolutely no room for debate so in short this calculator is allowed there's absolutely nothing for you to be worried of okay you are no, no invigilator has a right to stop you from taking this calculator and the reason for that is that so I asked them uh, I'll attach a screenshot of what I said I asked them can you uh, provide a special document which states all the calculators which are allowed and which aren't and I specifically mentioned this uh, Casio crossword series so um, Lenny, who is uh, from Cambridge, got back to me. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I hope that's uh, how it is. So they said, basically, calculator with any of the following facilities are prohibited unless specifically stated otherwise in the syllabus. So graphic display, this calculator does not have graphic display. Data banks, this, doesn't have, this, this does not have a data bank. Dictionaries or language translators, obviously this doesn't have any of that. Retrieval or manipulation of text or formula. So you can't store text in it. You can't store formulas in it. So you can't do that. QWERTY keyboards. Of course, this doesn't have a keyboard. Built-in symbolic algebraic manipulations. So the difference between what this does is this does numeric algebraic manipulations. So that means you can you can solve equations and find the answers, but you can't really see the working. Okay, so that's that's numeric. That's not symbolic. And the same go applies to symbolic differentiation or integration. You can't uh, do differentiation or integration in this. I mean, you can, but that's numeric. That means you can find dy by dx at a certain value of x. Similarly, you can do integration within limits, but that's that's all numeric stuff, okay? You can't do symbolic. That means you can't actually, for example, if this is for admat students, by the way. Uh, for example, if you want to find out the integral of cos x, okay? So you can't do that in this calculator. However, you can find out the integral of cos within a certain limits, okay? So that's, that's numeric stuff. Capability of remote communication with other machines. Again, this doesn't do any of that. While graphic cal graphical calculators are indeed an excellent tool for students to use in class, as part of our assessment, we often assess the candidate's ability to plot graphs accurately, that they understand how to draw a line of best fit, how to draw a best fit line and can correctly calculate a gradient showing they're working. These are basic skills which would not be assessed if candidates were to return an answer from their calculator. So yeah, uh, that this basically states that there's no point in assessing you guys how to uh, uh, assessing you guys in uh, in making a curve, drawing a tangent, if you were to just do it with the help of your calculator, okay? So basically, in this calculator, this calculator doesn't provide you with any sort of working, okay? It gives you the final answer, which is why you find a lot of teachers recommending this calculator, including myself. I've made dozens of videos on this uh, because this is something that can, you know, just boost your confidence. You've done a question, you can check the answer there and then, you know, you, you, can, you can be proud of yourself that you've done it correctly, so yeah. There's absolutely no reason for you to worry about. I would strongly recommend that you invest in this calculator. This is something that will definitely pay off, inshallah. So yeah, this is this is uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys about. And that's all for this video. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.